If you're looking for a fast and reliable rotation source that can power all your first machines, you'll be disappointed by the water wheel and the windmill. They're easy to set up, but they're also slow and limited in their stress output. In this video, I'll show you how to build a basic steam engine array that can be extended and customized to suit your needs. This design is simple, efficient, and versatile. It will reliably power all your machines before you even set foot in the nether. Let's get into it. Here are the materials you're going to need for the base steam engine array. And here are the required materials for each steam engine that you add onto it. To begin, we're going to come over here and break a 2x3 hole that is too deep. Then we're going to break this block right here and fill these five in with water. Then we're going to place a water wheel right here and then a heat source of any kind. It doesn't matter if it's a magma block or campfire, either one can work. For the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna use a campfire. Then we're gonna place our large cogwheel right here and then a small cogwheel right there. Then we're gonna take our fluid tanks and place them on top of our mechanical pumps right there and then fluid pipes. Then we're gonna place our steam engine right there. Now, this steam engine right here this can work for individual machines. However, if you really want to have everything running max speed, you're probably gonna want the rest of this array. So now we're gonna come over three from the fluid tanks, three blocks, then we're gonna break two blocks and however many wide that you want steam engines. I'm gonna go with five just because that's how much I want for mine. We're gonna have a have the be two blocks deep. I'm going to break these two blocks, place a large cogwheel right there, fill this entire bottom layer with water, then we're going to place our heat sources right there, of our fluid tanks, four high, and then we're going to place our mechanical pumps right there. and our fluid pipes. Now, it's important to note, you don't want these to be connected. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have them being be alternate heights, alternating heights. We're gonna right click with a wrench on this part. However, a encasing them individually will also work, but I prefer how this looks right here. Then we're gonna come up top we're going to add our steam engines. And then we're going to add our shafts right there. Place another shaft right there. And one right there. And that will start working immediately. We're going to place our mechanical belt right there. And our encased chain drive right there. This will be the output, output point. Now, if you don't have a a tall roof to put this in. You can alternatively have it come to the side like this and then have the belt come on down with the output be right there. However, I don't like how that looks, so I prefer this way. Now, if you don't like how slow this is going, you can actually increase the speed by doing this. I'm going to place a large cogwheel right here. I'm going to place another large cogwheel right there. I'm going to place a small cogwheel onto the side right there. I'm going to encase this large one. Place a large one underneath that small one. This small one right there. And we're going to keep on repeating this step until we get to max speed. There we have max speed right there. And we're going to place a vertical gearbox right there. And what I like to do is to have a stress stressometer right there so you can see how much stress that you have remaining on your system. However, that's not a requirement. However, at max speed, you're only going to get about 10,000 stress units with only five steam engines. So you can add on to that to get more stress. But this is perfect for like your beginner setups. Anything you need to power right then. That's all for this video. I hope that this design helped you out with whatever you need to power. Oh, one more thing. This is a new channel. 
So I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And well, see you guys for another one.